fog's already started. Uh, we're between Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie. Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie. At... Jeremy's Truck Stop Restaurant. Jeremy's Truck Stop Restaurant. So we're, um, five hours into our 15-ish hour drive to Thunder Bay, to Nalalu. Don't know, uh, that's all, that's old rust, Lavi. Look at this big piece, big piece of quartz. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So, that's his garbage, sweetie. So far, Chantel's done all the driving, thankfully. It was terrible, the rain, it was really, really heavy rain for the first, like, three hours, and then that, uh, and then it stopped. Yeah, that's a little rust, Lavi. So we're just in a stop to get gas, and it's 216 something. Rip off. Yeah, all right, well, that's, uh, that's where we are, kind of middle of, not really anywhere. We all stopped, peed, oh, keep her moving on that one, eh? She didn't go near that, did she? Dirty old lot lizard mess there. Good lord, that's awful. All right, lessons learned, lot lizards. That's a lot lizard cleanup right there. <laughs> Probably all sorts of fucking disease on that. Maybe it would have been cleaner to go in the bathroom. I don't think so. But, exciting it's our first trip to go see our property wow that's a big one keep walking with Nan How am I going to use that as content? This is like talking about pooping. <laughs> All right. Well, I saw, but oh wow, it's actually uh, looking the high flood, eh? Oh, so cool. Because so the water yeah. be all the way over there. Wow, it's crazy. I wish you brought the other camera. Everybody's fighting bugs. Um, I'm not sure where we are exactly. Maybe 10, 10, 11 hours, 10, 12 hours into our drive. Uh, we, oh, well, we're, we're in, we're actually in the, the district of Thunder Bay now. Hey, sorry, I'm distracted. There are a ton of, uh, of black flies. They're just swarming me. It's pretty brutal. Uh, but that's, uh, 
that's part of being up north is that there's a lot of bugs. They are kind of driving me crazy, I have to admit, but uh, see how many I got behind me. I <laughs> got a lot behind me. Uh, so literally just in a gravel pit. I'm assuming they use this for uh, road maintenance and shit like that. It's biting me. Yeah, they are biting me, bastards. Yeah, this, uh, it will be, uh, it'll be something to get used to. All the bugs for sure. They're uh, not the most pleasant thing, but I don't know. I don't want to live in the city anymore. And uh, these seasons come and go. They, they don't last forever. I have to admit, I'm not really paying attention to where I'm going because the bugs are <laughs> fucking pretty, uh, they're pretty fucking bad. And I'm in, I'm just in like the absolute fucking worst attire for it. But <laughs> short, rolled up scrubs and, uh, and a super cut off fucking cat shirt. So, this isn't exactly the best thing. If I stand still. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot on me. So, you kind of have to keep moving. I just wanted to, we're stopping just to have like a quick dinner in the car. Uh, gas was 2, 2.30. Fucking crazy absolute ripoff it was like 210 in the city and then you know fluctuating between like 208 and 216 and then we hit thunder bay and it's fucking two dollars and 30 cents a fucking liter it's just wild like it's outrageous got like 50 liters for 120 dollars crazy this is expensive trip just fucking drive for just gas let alone everything else we had to put new tires on my wife's car i had to get a patreon going mind you i guess it would be helpful to have a substantial follower base uh <laughs> to actually have people giving me money because as of right now i think i'm at six six or seven subs or something like that but that's all right obviously at this point i'm making any money off of doing this um the intention is to eventually but uh, not yet obviously because i'm not there i think it's a thousand subs and four thousand watched hours and then you can uh and then they'll monetize you as a creator and, and then even then you're not going to make that much money but uh All right, so I've had enough of that. I'm back in the car. I want to go hide in the car from the bugs. Uh, what is that? Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday at like 9 in the morning. We're at my uh, mom's friend's house in Thunder Bay. Uh, we made it, we did really good. Chantel basically drove the whole drive, which was awesome, because I'm gonna have to do it by myself when we actually do our, our move. So we're here to check out the property that we bought. It has a beautiful home here, it's very nice. So she was nice enough to let us stay here. Um, so we just had breakfast, we were just kind of getting situated, getting all our stuff repacked and um, our vehicle we had terrible weather to start our trip off yesterday it was pouring rain bugs are crazy i think i mentioned that while well, i was at that gravel pit but they're fine here like we're you know obviously a lot more open so we're gonna uh we're just calling our realtor because she is in possession of our keys to the cabin that's on the property. Now we're not uh, we're not living in that. We are going to for this uh, for this duration of our trip because well we don't have a home built there and uh, why well, use a tent when we have a nice little tiny it's a tiny house that the lady that owned the, the acreage previously had built. It's quite nice. Uh, it has a dug well and composting toilet and uh it's wired for either to get hooked up to the city 
which we're not going to do, or to run off a generator, which we're just going to run a generator for what we need. We brought a bought a mini fridge to uh, keep our stuff in for the time being. It's all just temporary. That uh, that dwelling is uh, <clears throat> is going to be our workshop. So it's going to be a great workshop. The realtor said, "Oh, you know, Chantel, when she called her yesterday, she's like, I really hope you're not disappointed with the size of the house." And it's like, "Don't worry, we didn't buy it for the house. We bought it for the property." So we're pretty anxious to um, pretty anxious to get moving. And, uh, and go check out the property because we spent a lot of money on it sight unseen because it's just like any real estate you just have to buy you can't wait you just have to buy it we lost I don't know three or four properties that we were looking at just hemming and hawing and we lost one while we were planning our trip out here to come see it but it just wasn't meant to be it didn't work out but our, our house is uh, our old house is sold uh, we have the money. We did really well, actually. We did better. Uh, we we missed the absolute madness, Rona Peak, but uh, but we did really well, and um, uh, we're just finalizing the contract for our build for the home builder. Uh, hopefully, we can do that today. We were just <laughs> we're literally just waiting on a quote for a uh, a really nice. Uh, um, wood stove. I didn't realize that uh, they're like four grand, four thousand dollars. It's insanity, but it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful wood stove, and it's going to be overkill for the size of how, house that we have. But it, that thing will be around long after I'm dead. So it's worth the money. Okay. So we're all going to go for a walk outside and. Uh, I think I hear guns going off, which is good. I like hearing that already. All right. So what are you doing here, Big Stink? We're going to pick up our keys for our property in the Lalu, uh, the realtor. We're in Thunder Bay, the city. We arrived last night. Oh, Century 21. 